All right, my MacBook is currently in Sydney. It's on its way, it should be getting it tomorrow. However, the Apple store over here in Rabina has the new Macs, so I've got my SSD with code, with videos and everything. I'm gonna be testing it out and finding out how hot they really get. Let's check it out. All right, first up, I wanted to see how well they handled the interface of Final Cut on my current dual core i7 2016 13 incher. The interface is sluggish. Now, unfortunately, on the other systems, they ran sluggish as well. When it comes to 4K playback, I wanted to see how well they could play back unrendered H.264 videos with effects. On my current system, as you can see, it tends to skip a few frames. Comparing this to the 2018 versions, performance was much better. What surprised me the most was how difficult the iMac Pro handled this task. To get rid of those 4K playback issues, Final Cut lets you either playback in proxy or pre-render the scenes into ProRes. Now, in this test, we see how fast these units can pre-render the footage to ProRes. My current dual-core system is gonna take a while, so let's see how the others are doing. First to finish was the eight-core iMac Pro, but only three seconds behind was the 15-inch. 25 seconds later, the quad-core 13-inch came through and add another 19 seconds to the mix and my dual core was done. So with this task, you can clearly see there's a correlation between core count and performance. All right, so I was testing it on three systems, the base 13 inch, the base 15 inch, which is the i7 2.2, and iMac Pro, the, the base one. The 15 inch and the iMac Pro were very, very similar, although I do think that the 15 inch was slightly faster than the iMac Pro, especially when it came down to previewing the, the timeline, scrubbing through the timeline when nothing was rendered. When it comes to encoding the video and uh, transcoding, I'm not sure, I'm not sure. I think it was like neck and neck. So I'll be really interested to see when I play it out and tell you what the results are. And also comparing it to my i9. So we've got a nice baseline there. I'll tell you if it's much faster or slower and all that kind of stuff. Can't wait. Time to get some coffee. <laughs> 